So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and update your iPhone from your computer. Whether it's a Mac or Windows, it's a very basic process. To get started, what you're going to want to do is you want to back up all the information you have inside of your iPhone. So if you're not able to go and update your iPhone natively like where you are now, are you using the general settings app, go ahead and back up all your data from your iPhone and just make sure on your Mac or internet, like your Mac or Windows PC, you have a stable internet connection. Now, what you can do is you can go ahead. You want to first download either iTunes on Windows or you want to just go ahead and have your Mac open like this. Then what you want to do is you want to grab some sort of a wire. You want, we're going to use the wired method. So go ahead and basically grab your wire and you want to plug in one side inside of your iPhone. So go ahead and plug in one side inside of your iPhone like this. And then the other side, you want to go and plug in inside of your computer. So go ahead and plug in the one side to your iPhone, the other side to your computer. You might get a little pop-up that will tell you to trust that particular you know, device, either on here or on your Mac. So go ahead and click on Allow when you see this, and then you should be good to go. So now your iPhone will go and get popped up, and you'll get this pop-up on your iPhone. You want to click Trust, because you want to trust that Mac or that Windows PC. Now it's going to tell you automatically, it's going to say, a software update is required to connect to your phone. You can go and click on the install button right there and it will automatically update your iPhone. Or you can click on not now. If you click on not now or you don't see that pop up, what you can try doing is making your way over into your Finder application. So open up Finder just like this and you'll see all this information come up right here. Now what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and you should be able to see your iPhone under locations. So right here there should be a little iPhone option. Click on your iPhone name. And then this pop-up will, will basically come up. When you see this pop-up, you'll start to see this other button right here that says check for update. So here you can also check for an update inside of your iPhone. You can click check for update right here. And it will go ahead and check for an update from for your iPhone from your Mac. So you can also just go through and update your you know, iPhone from your Mac this way. So click on check for update. It's going to take a little bit of time to go and find it. If there is an update, then you can update to it. If there's not, you can also click on restore iPhone, and that will also just go through and restore your iPhone if you want to like reset everything or come back from a previous version. You can also kind of do something that way too. So that's essentially how you do it. Then you basically just wait it out until your iPhone is basically booted back up and restarted. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.